provide your own from Trailblazing Wine and TWTV, offering hints and tips to help you get the most enjoyment out of your wines. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been at various taste workshops for food and wine, uh, for both trade and consumer. And it does surprise me, actually, when often when you, the number of people when you offer them a sample of wine will say, oh, no, that's, that's a, um, a red wine, I only drink whites. And um, I always think that's a real shame because it immediately cuts off half your, um, your chances of exploring new wines. It cuts off the ability of half the wines out there. I understand why um, we categorise between red and white, but actually the taste profiles are far more subtle than that. I mean, you, you get a lot of crossover with some whites being far more red in style and vice versa. So I think um, there are ways of, getting, of, of expanding your palate by venturing away from just drinking white wines. And often the reason uh, if someone only drinks white wine, they wouldn't drink a red is because they might think they're too heavy, t too dry, not fruity enough. So if you only drink white wines and want to start to explore red wines, I would look at, for a start, obviously light red wines. And I'd, there I'd, I'd really head towards the Northern Hemisphere, cooler climate wines. And three great varieties I'd look at to start off with um, would be the Gamay grape, um, which is um, sort of the most famous in Beaujolais, and um, that's a really delicious light red wine that you can even chill a bit, low in tannins and fruity. Another one's Val Follicella Classico, which is a Corvina grape principally. This wine, again, very low in tannins, very fruity, could even be slightly chilled. And then the lighter Pinot Noir as well, very fruity wine, um, deliciously light, and it'll really help you um, maybe open up a whole new world of wine that you hadn't thought about before, um, and you'll find them far closer to to the whites than you realise. And actually, if you taste, many people, if you taste uh, wines blind, wouldn't be, able, wouldn't be able to tell the difference between those reds that I've, I've expressed and whites. You would find it very difficult to say, is that a red wine or a white wine? So I'd certainly experiment with that. Um, next week, I'll, I'll, I'll um, recommend some white wines for those that only drink red wines and, um, and then see, see if you can um, sort of experiment from there. So I hope that helps. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, please do share it with everyone. Um, in the blog, I'll put some recommendations to the whites I've mentioned and links to purchase those. Um, so I hope that helps and see you next week.